In our first option, we're going to learn whether we ascend or descend from the first melody note. For instance, we already learned the first melody note is C. We went to our chord vocabulary guide and came up with this C chord. Now, as you notice, the second note of the melody of Take Me Out to the Ball Game is also C, but it's an octave higher. So you will ascend from the first melody note to the second melody note. You will identify that note, go to your chord reference guide, and come up with the second chord, which is a C major chord with a C note on top. An octave above or ascending from the first C note. Now we notice that the third note is an A note, which is descending from the high C note. You get the A note, you go to your C major section of the movable chord vocabulary, and you pick out your chord. A C major with an A on top, or C sixth. So the first three chord melody chords for Take Me Out to the Ball Game The fourth note you'll notice is a G note descending from the A still on a C major chord. We identified the prevailing chord for the first two measures as C major. Now the melody note is a G. Go to the chord reference guide and come up with your C major chord with the G note on top. So the first four chords to come together now. You can hear that. Let's go on to the next note, which is an E note descending from the G note. Go to your chord reference guide, and you'll notice that the C major 7th with the E note on top is the chord. So in succession so far... first two measures. Now the second two measures, measures three and four, we already determined that the prevailing chord is a G dominant seventh. The melody note is a G note. So we go to the chord, movable chord reference guide under G dominant seventh and come up with the G seventh chord. So in succession from the beginning, the next note in measure four is a D note, which is descending, going down from the G. Go to your chord reference guide, you'll notice that G seventh. So the first four measures of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Moving on to the next four measures, you will notice that it's the same as the first four measures. Measure five, the C note, C chord. The next note, C, ascending an octave higher, then the A note, then the G note with the C, E note with the C, then G seventh with the G note. Okay, let's go through those eight measures. That's starting to sound like something now, chord melody. So what we're determining here is 
You pick your first melody note, C. We're looking, do we ascend or descend? In this case, the next C note is an octave higher, so we're ascending. Then we descend. Then we ascend to this G note on the G7. And then descend to the D note on the G7. So let's just run that through one more time. Let's move on to option two.